Hello guys, today in this video I would like to explain you how to create the amazing speed limit map in QGIS uh, like you can see on this screen. This map has been created for Greater London, but uh, now I will show you on a different city which will be Birmingham. I have already my QGIS uh, map canvas prepared and I also have downloaded the Birmingham Council boundary exactly from this website where you can see you can uh, get this data as the GeoJSON. The link is already here. But the pivot thing here is getting the proper data which would allow us to plot the speed limit data into our QGIS map. And this data can be downloaded from this amazing website which is called geofabric.d. This is a German based website which name is derivative from Geofactory. And the website is dedicated for downloading all the stuff straight from the OpenStreetMap. We can go to the Maps Data section and then visit both downloads with the PBF extensions or simply go to the shape files where we also can download the data. So basically, we need to visit the download geofabric.d server where all the data is stored. And our next step will be the selection of the proper re region, which in our case will be Europe. Then we need to scroll down and find the Britain and Ireland. And from there, we also should pick up the sub-regions, which for the Birmingham will be definitely England, and it will be apparently West Midlands. So West Midlands are already here. And as you can see, you've got few options to download the zip data. You can do it with the with dot pbf extension and you can also download them in the shape files in the zip shape files i will pick up the second option and wait a while until the data will be downloaded okay when your data has been downloaded you can copy it to the folder you like and extract them all. Once extracted, you should see the whole package straight from the OpenStreetMap, which includes both infrastructure, communication, residential stuff, other buildings, geographical data, everything which can be simply extracted from the OpenStreetMap. And our next step is finding this uh, shapefile, which is needed for preparing the speed limit map. So it will be definitely the road coverage. So you can find the file like roads free so we can simply drag this file here and <clears throat> in this event as you can see you've got the whole coverage of west midlands with uh, all types of roads be prepared for some freezing of your qgis 
if you don't have enough uh, RAM memory data or if your computer is slightly overload because these data are, are really, really heavy. The weight is about 100 megabytes. It can be even bigger file to, to load, so be prepared for that, as you can see. So it took me more than half a minute to load everything. But now I can easily zoom in, zoom out with some freezing intervals in the meantime and see the whole road coverage for for the entire West Midlands County where the Birmingham is placed. So the file is far too heavy and we need some relevant distinctions inside of it. One of the distinctions will be definitely cutting down the roads which falls certainly inside of the Birmingham City Council. And another selection will be based at the speed limit provided. The QGIS is still slow, so we need to wait. So I will start from the second criterion by now, in order to make you aware what's roughly going on with this uh, road coverage, because as you will be convinced, there are not only the road the traffic road, but also cycling, cycle roads, pavements, everything. So when your data table is opened, you can see a vast number of features, which uh, for big cities can be really overwhelming. Like here, we've got uh, nearly 150,000 of single elements. So it does explain away why our QGIS is so slow. Anyway, you've got several columns which are already provided as the generic columns from OpenStreetMap. And the most interesting one is the max speed column, which uh, includes our interesting data about the speed limit. So if you try to scroll down, you will see that some of them have uh, max speed equal to zero. It means that the road falls in the residential area, which probably is the cycleway. It can be a footway or alternatively, the max speed hasn't been provided. This is also unfortunately the option, as we know, the OpenStreetMap is a collaborative project where everyone can input some data based on his own knowledge and considerably OpenStreetMap has a lot of contributors worldwide however in practice it means that some of the regions are well covered whereas the other regions are not prepared very well yet the process I'm showing you right now is pretty much for figuring out how well the Birmingham is prepared for the analysis like this. So that's why by looking at this uh, open but this data table, I can see that some of the roads haven't been equipped with max speed so far, but it's not a big deal because we can still improve our speed limit map later in the future where this data will be covered in 100%. 
so far we unfortunately need to distinguish the roads basing on the max speed value so I cannot keep all of them on my map because it will be too messy and one step I would do here is uh, selection featured by expression where I will type simply max speed is null it means that the tool should select everything which is equal to null because I've got provided value like zero I have to change my formula and uh, type zero here instead if you will have null here instead of zero then you need to use this formula all right in my case i have to change my formula and write something like this output preview is zero means it means that it should be fine now and in this case a lot of things uh, started to change here because I've got already some of the inputs selected. To be honest, 130,000 over 130,000 has been uh, selected so far. And the sad thing is that it's quite a lot of things which we don't need for our map. So it gets me worried a bit because it looks like there is. Uh, not much road roads where the speed limit has been provided so let's have a look on it so this is uh, quite a lot of roads so potentially we could define another uh, selection for this purpose instead of typing instead of defining our cr criterion on max speed we should define our criterion on this column f plus which defines the type of road we are dealing with so in this case i won't base my selection on the max speed column as was mentioned before i will use it F class instead so my formula will look like we we'll start from F class and I see that my output preview has already changed and now I will exclude this type of communication which I certainly know that they don't are roads they are cycleways and footways they won't be considered in this project at all so my formula will look like this i'm excluding cycleway right now and also i will think will exclude the footway Okay, output preview is one which means that the formula is correct. So the selection has been already changed. We can close this window down and see how our road coverage will look right now. And move our data attribute table away for a while in order to check how our map looks like. So it does look much better than previously we've got pretty much a uniform road cover coverage with exclusion of cycleways and footways marked already as the purple which means that they haven't been selected so once the selection is done we can shut down the attribute table and try to export this selection as the separate file I use the word 
try to export because as it was mentioned before the file is really really large so by export the selection we can check do we need all these uh, columns or not but if you take a more detailed look then you might come to conclusion that not all the layers are needed especially layers like uh, OSM ID which or code which comes from the OpenStreetMap we can keep only the elements which will at some point define the usage of our data like max speed name or mentioned earlier f class but you can still keep all the layers if you like once everything is prepared here make sure that your crs is fine this is also the option where you can where you can reproject your layer but you don't necessarily need to do so uh, here and we can call this layer as sorry maybe as midland road map preferably in geojson file which will save our visual space in the folder and hit ok and same as previously we must be patient here and wait until our file is saved successfully obviously QGIS should also display our new layer after uh, saving it to the folder now the red band in the red band uh, our new layer is displayed however QGIS seemed to not respond for now so we need to still wait when everything is done you won't see the loading bar anymore at the bottom we can carry on our work where the nearest step will be deletion of the layer which has been loaded straight from the geofabric package because the layer is too big we should see our QGIS slightly relieved when everything is alright and the load bar doesn't appear anymore at the very bottom our map image also changes because we see now just one layer with obviously the boundary layer overlapped which uh, has been shown at the very beginning and now it would be vital to move our boundary layer to the top because this boundary layer will, will define the whole range of our speed limit map we won't exceed these boundaries anymore so all the roads which uh, will become visible outside of this boundary layer will be eventually removed so at this moment you can see how things stand we've got the Birmingham Council boundary layer versus the West Midlands road map so it brings us to the next step we have to remove all the roads which fall outside of the Birmingham boundary map it can be done by using this option if we go to the vector and research tool tools we can use the select by location option where we tick up the intersect and are within 
but first we have to define the relationship between these two layers we have to select features from our west midlands roadmap by comparing to the features from the birmingham birmingham council uh, layer which is this black uh, boundary and if everything is all right just hit run and wait some time give the QGIS the time for making this selection when completed you will see the amazing result in your map when the process is completed you can simply close this window down and see the whole road selected just within the Birmingham Council boundary which is great so our next duty is preserving this data which uh, can be also expressed by exporting all the selected features as the separate layer now we don't need to remove the columns from here because we did it previously just we should change our file name which now will be Birmingham roadmap instead of West Midland roadmap and hit OK and wait until QGIS will proceed our data because the area is much restricted by now it shouldn't take so long and when done we just need to remove the previous layer for West Midlands roadmap in order to make our QGIS lighter At first glance, everything looks all right. However, if you take more detailed look, you will see that some roads still exceed of the main map bounded with this black polygon, which in turn doesn't look nice. So in this case, there's another operation which we should carry out in order to make our map neat and this is also the vector option in geoprocessing tools we can find the intersection option where our input layer will be birmingham roadmap overlaid with the polygon bounded with the black line optionally we can also select all the layers considered for our roadmap and hit run because we still have quite a lot of elements this algorithm will be processed quite long okay so finally our algorithm has been executed and what we see now we see two layers and it looks like our the newest one is finally strictly bounded within the Birmingham County boundary in order to make sure how it looks like we can switch off some layers and see so let me switch off the open speed map and let me switch off also the existing Birmingham roadmap and show you what I was roughly talking about. Everything starts to look perfect to be honest. And our very last step will be saving this intersection layer as the final map which eventually will be customized with the styling features and display the road speed limits within the Birmingham council area make sure that you've got all these columns needed or not it looks like this algorithm has added some unnecessary columns to our 
layer so we can simply remove them and save our file as the Birmingham speed limit map press ok and traditionally wait some time the layer has been successfully exported when everything saved correctly we can remove layers which are not needed anymore this is for sure the temporary intersection layer as well as the existing Birmingham road map just in case we can save our project and finally take a look at our data table again so from about 150,000 elements we've got just 36,000 which definitely should make our QGIS faster but it looks like we still got some unnecessary layers which I haven't removed yet so we can do it uh, right now icon draw order and description so if i press ctrl and click then i can can get rid of these layers quickly and save our data to the table so from now our column of concern will be definitely the max speed which will define the coloration of our map The coloration of our map can be done by using the styling features, obviously. So we can run them by selecting the properties features and the symbology section. However, we won't use the single symbol, which is which comes as the default option. We need to use the categorized instead and our value of concern will be the max speed and we should hit the classify button which will extract all the values available within the column discussed throughout this whole process as you can see we've got the several options which pretty much remind the legend shown at the very beginning of this tutorial and they come as the default styling we can hit apply for now and see what will happen but obviously this coloration needs to be changed because it looks quite messy anyhow you can see that our speed limit map starts to get some proper coloration we can see some various colors across the Birmingham council area but as it was mentioned earlier most of this road has no speed limit provided so our first approach will be to switch off somewhat the coloration of the roads which uh, speed limit is equal to zero first of all we should delete all other values because we don't really need them and for the value zero we could define some minor style which uh, won't be streaking that much probably the gray color will be the best and apart from the color we also can set the width of our linear feature which for the roads without the speed limit information can be 0 0.05 and we can click OK and again click apply see uh, what is happening 
now our map looks uh, completely different because we can see just these roads which have some speed limit defined. It doesn't mean that the roads without the speed limit defined don't exist in this map. They do, but they are somewhat merged with the open street map canvas. For this time, if I could switch the tiling window off and toggle the open street map, we will see that these roads, these um, grey roads, which are not representative that much, they are still visible. Alright, so let me go back to the situation we had before, switch on the open street map again and go back to the styling. We can reach the symbology by right click and selection of properties like previously, but we can also double click on the given category and change the coloration from this position without entering the symbology panel. So let me start from the, the fastest roads, motorways, with the speed limit of 112 miles per hour. So for the previous map I shown you at the very beginning, I used to put the claret color like this pretty much. And the width should be higher, so um, the thickness we can define like 1.5. When we click OK, we need to wait for a while and see where certainly the motorways are. So we effectively got two motorways and another three smaller sections. Now something like express roads, which by right click we could use the previous symbol, but we won't use it because it has been defined for motorways. This is the current symbol for, for this type of road. But if I double click, I will decide to put it as the red and the thickness accordingly 1.25 and suddenly some sections with express roads appear on my map. And another type of road and so on and so on. And this task must be completed for all the categories, so let me do it very quickly and see how it will look like later. Now it seems like I am done. Our speed limit map is much more colorful. However, it looks quite congested. But we will cope with it a bit later. In order to emphasize the visibility of our map, I will take down the open street map for a while and show you how it uh, will look like. So it does look very nice in my opinion. So our last step then is creation of the legend scale and prepare it for the printable version. So the printable version will be the best in my opinion. That's why we should use the print layout option. Select new print layout and call it like BHX, which is abbreviation for the Birmingham Airport. We can use these three letters and the new window has popped up, which includes our printing layout. First thing we need to do. We need to go to the page properties and define the size of our paper, which definitely won't be A4, 
we can set it as the A0 because our map will be large. So now our look, document looks like this. And the next step is to check what certain scale do we need. So let me drag this window out from the main project and play with the zoom level. <clears throat> so when we zoom in, obviously the image of our map is getting better, but we won't exaggerate because we need to remember that we have the A0 paper, which is obviously limited with the size. So the scale of our map must correspond to the paper size if you want to have everything nice and tidy otherwise your map will be too small or you will have just a part of the map instead so let me put the scale for example one to thousand and it will be the scale which will be used for our printing layout option. So when we have ascertained that our map scale is good, then we can bring our printing layout window back and add the map, which can be done by this option. So what we can do, just click this button here and add map elsewhere in the printing layout map canvas. It's advisable to make this as big as possible. Now uh, we need to visualize our map in our mind, place the header, the scale, legend and north arrow, imagine where all these elements will be on our map. And Finally, we can plot the major map. Wait a while when rendered. So the scale automatically comes as uh, 1 to 15,000, which is not good because we will see just part of the Birmingham instead of the whole county. Our initial scale was 60,000. So we can change it uh, here and it's almost correct. In practice, we can just extend our map borders and effectively should be fine, right? So this is the this is our map boundary. I can drag it slightly down and slightly towards left. Maybe maybe it's not the best idea like here because this map is pretty much alive so we need to make sure that it matches our map area otherwise we can also go to our QGIS and drag the map from the map canvas and use this option which is view map view current map extent in main canvas this is the option needed in the situation like you saw previously that our map uh, partially escaped from the from the map boundary okay so we've got our map another stuff we need to include here is the north arrow so we can use another option place the north arrow somewhere here obviously it don't need to be the default nor arrow we can change it by using this option on our right but i'm leaving it for you in future purposes i will do i will go with the default options uh, by now and the last thing is the scale bar which also can be included here Because this is the A0 format, you won't see much details here. They will be visible better 
when you launch your map on maximum zoom level. And the last thing is header, which can be done by label. Add label, sorry, it's not the last thing because this is the pre ultimate thing. We still need the legend. So the header can be done like this, and we can the tab where the Lauren Ipsum text is placed, we can simply use this text. Like this, press OK, and the text is already here because it's really small, so we have to change this uh, text. I think we need to go with 72. When you don't have the options you need here, you can also type the font size manually. And I think now should be quite fine, but we still need to align this text. So let me align it to the center. If you are not sure that the text is at the, in the center of the page, the text box can be stretched between one and another edge of our printing layout, then we can be sure that the text is the text falls roughly in the middle. And the last part is the legend. It will be admittedly the most tricky one because I forgot about one thing. Before we do that legend, we need to go back to our QGIS and in the place where the speed limit is not provided, we have to change the values. Yeah? because all the values here correspond to the number of miles which we can go per hour in our car, but zero means uh, nothing. So in this event, we could do the right click, go to the properties, visit the symbology, and you've got the value. You've got the symbol which already has been defined in color and thickness. But the thing here is the legend. This is also this is a very important thing because this is uh, exactly what we will see in our map. So the legend is picked up straight from the value, but we can change this legend, right? So by double click, I can provide my own value if I need. And in in the event of uh, zero, I will put not applicable and hit enter and hit apply. Because I don't have information about the speed limit and it's, it's senseless to put zero in the speed limit. So let, let's keep it as the non applicable And let's back to our printing layout where we will add the legend. So our legend can be placed uh, here. It's obviously small, but you can see how important was changing the value here because we don't have uh, the values here we the legend retrieves only the legend label only the text which is placed within the legend so there's nothing to to do with value if you change 8 to 10 then you will have here 10. i hope that you understood it so the legend, our legend looks like this. It don't really need to be much bigger, I think. We can make it maybe a bit wider. If you are not sure about the text, you see, you can always use the zoom feature and mark the area you want to enlarge. Yeah? In this event, We've got something, but some of the things are not needed here. So important issue here will be the auto update. We don't need auto update anymore because we can manage with the inputs we need or not. So we definitely don't need the Google hybrid map and we definitely don't need the OpenStreetMap canvas. We need just the speed limit uh, 
linear layer and we need the Birmingham Council boundary which is the polygon here and this is all what we basically need just in case we can always put another text box here and call it like key or legend right and obviously as shown previously font also should be bigger here it don't need to be at the center if i zoom out i will see that the legend is already here so we've got everything we need we've got the scale we've got the north arrow and we've got the header the map title okay After waiting several seconds, you will see that our layout has been successfully exported. By clicking it, you should be able to open the folder, which is already here. And there you go, you've got your file. By double click, we can open and we've got our map ready. Obviously, some things are not the best placed here. But this is only an example. Uh, it's your role to play with both elements, their sizes and shapes. So everything is up to you. At the very end, I just would like to mention that the map is already zoomed fit to our screen. But we can make it larger and see the details as presented previously. So, this is probably the highest level of details which uh, are included in this map. So it, look, it looks really, really nice. I hope that you've learned how to make a road speed limit map and this exercise won't be a problem for you but remember that the primary downside of OpenStreetMap on which the GeoFabric download server is based is a lack of some information in partial which the best example you can see here about 50% of road has no speed limit provided in other cities, the situation can be slightly better or slightly worse. It depends. But this is the hope that in the future, most of stuff will be completed and this process will be much more needed than today. Thank you for your attention.